Irish of Red Eye. Oh, thank you. And the world's biggest bear claw. It's in here. They had that turkey baguette on the menu that you love. Got me two of them. And roasted veggies and pickles. Pickles come with. Ah, well, I mean. Oh, no. It's my treat. What? You'll have something for later. OK, you have one lime in your fridge. One. It's growing fur. Thank you. I appreciate it. But you don't have to feed me. I have my savings, my tutoring gigs. I'm fine, really. It's just a turkey. It's not necessary. Should probably get going. I have an interview at 8.30. Groceries, two sandwiches. And believe me, I'm still paying for it. You should have seen the look that he gave me. Well, he's your boyfriend, Arya. He's not a baby squirrel. I was just trying to do the right thing. Totally wrong. Look, I've been there, I've done that. Every time you baby squirrel Ezra, you're taking away his nuts. You did not just say that. I did. But I don't think that I meant to. <laughs> that Emily? Ezra. Oh, did he find his nuts? <sighs> You just got an invitation to Jenna's birthday party. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this. To be honest, most of what's happened to me here, I, I didn't expect. I didn't expect to connect with you the way that I have. I never expected to feel this kind of loss over leaving you. Um, stopping, this gets too maudlin. But I'm not going to forget you. I will remember your, your, your voices, your questions, your faces. Um, I cherish the time that I've spent here, and I'm more grateful than I even know how to say. There's a quote by Joseph Campbell. He goes, you must give up the life you had planned in order to have the life that is waiting for you. I thought I knew what that meant. I didn't. Until I met you. Well, there it is. Oh, oh, always read. Have a good life. <laughs> border of Bucks County. I think it's like the first exit. Mm. Oh, yeah, I found it. Wait, why aren't you going with Laurel? She's just weird about driving with strangers. Well, you're not a stranger. You're her assistant. What's up? Laurel was just double checking that I had the right address. 
How bad do you think it would be if I canceled? Canceled on your first day of work? I don't think you'd get a second. Yeah, that's what I figured. Wait, I don't understand. Why would you want to do that? I thought you were excited about this job. No, I am. I really am. It's just Hannah's still really torn up over Caleb, so we were all going to get together tonight to try and cheer her up. Well, your friends know it's a great opportunity for you. Besides, we got to pool our resources together. I think we're on our last package of ramen. What is this really about? Arya, you wouldn't have been hired if she didn't think you were up to the task. We hey, look up. Get away. Don't. Boom. <laughs> okay, your turn. I want to remind you that you know what you're doing. So come on, take a picture of me. No, keep going. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, come on. You gotta give me some now. Love this place. Oh, you gotta give me more. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so Are you okay? Wait. I thought the nightmare stopped. I guess I started again. Hey. You're still safe, are you? There's no more A. You were far away from this mess last night. I think I just stayed at Spencer's lake house. Did you read this? Apparently Maya found some things that belong to Allison. No, no, she she gave everything to Jason. Well, actually, I think she may have kept something. Something that connected Garrett to Allison's murder. Doesn't make sense. She would have told Emily. Well, maybe that's what she was on her way to do. But Garrett found her first. Do you know what this weekend is? Labor Day is the anniversary of Allison's death. Or I was about to start a new teaching job and you thought you might like to teach. Was that true or were you just hitting on me? Did you really play B26 or were you just hitting on me? <laughs> Can we make this our anniversary instead of hers? Meet me tomorrow night at the Rosewood Grill. I will be the guy at the bar reading Ulysses. You still haven't finished that book? No one has. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a hopeless romantic. I thought we could recreate the date. When exactly called it a date, we ended the night in the bathroom. <laughs> I remember. I think it was something like this. And then I something like this. You want, darling, I know, I know, I know it seems like years. We're moving in all directions, leaving it all behind. Tonight, tonight, I feel alive. I'm so sorry my dad made you go all the way down there to do that. Well, it wasn't that bad. Actually, I like the campus and the professors. Yeah, well, I'm just glad it's all over with. It's not over. They offered me the job. They did? Mm-hmm. Obviously, of course they did. They'd be crazy not to. What did you say? Uh, I haven't given them an answer yet. Yeah? Are you? Your dad is clearly on to us. He showed up at the restaurant the other night. Well, the... Yeah, of course he's suspicious, but he doesn't have any proof. 
This job is an incredible opportunity for me, and if I don't take it, he will know what's keeping me here. We'll figure out a way around it, like we always do. I used to think that, and I'm not so sure anymore. What are you... What are you saying? Are you... Are you giving up on us? No, no, no. But we've been trying to make this work for a long time. And... And I, what? I, what? And, and as much as we love each other, I think we are deluding ourselves into believing that it can. I'm going to class in a few minutes. So won't you please I'll call you What's wrong? Go away. What? Did something happen? Mom, go away, please. No, I'm not going to go anywhere until you tell me why you're so upset. Fine. Ezra's leaving, so Dad got his wish. Are you happy now? What are you talking about? He's taking that job in New Orleans. What job? The job that Dad set him up with. <sighs> when did he do this? Don't pretend like you don't know, Mom. You may have gotten rid of Ezra, but guess what? You lost me too. Hey. Miss Montgomery, what can I do for you? Um, I was wondering if you could look over my reading assignment. Uh, perhaps this could wait until after the, the makeup test has been administered. Actually, it would be great if you could just review it now so I know I'm on the right track. Okay. What do you think of my work so far? <clears throat> Looks outstanding. Great. Then I'll turn it in at the end of the day. Great. Police are on their way. There's no way that's your mom.
Ezra? It's so beautiful. Some alone time. How do you like this thing? Uh, it doesn't lie. There's no more A, but you should seriously still lock your door. You stopped by Paula's. That's yeah, Keyline. Why Pi? Why not Pi? Jenna's all alone now. She's all alone and she's blaming herself. I just wanted to tell her that she should blame me. You should both be blaming Shauna. She was the one that was holding the gun, remember? Allie, she always thought that Jenna was manipulating Shauna, but I think that Jenna actually loved her. Look, Arya, you have to stop beating yourself up for this. I don't know how I'm going to get past it. Do you see this? This is what she did to me. I'm lucky to be alive, and so are you. Just like she told you, remember? Shauna wasn't playing a game. I'm so sorry. I don't ever want to hear you say you're sorry again. Before I went to Amsterdam. It's a great city. So do you go to Hollis? Just graduated. I'm gonna start my first teaching job. Yeah, I 
I think I'd like to teach. I love this song. B26. What's your major? Uh, well, I'm leaning toward English. That's what I'm teaching. <laughs> well, and I write too, but and so far it's it's mostly personal, just for me. I'm impressed. Why? Well, I tried writing. I didn't get very far. You're lucky. If you're writing for yourself, it's pure passion. Maybe you'd let me read something of yours? Yeah, you really want to? Yeah. You're smart, you've traveled, great taste in music. I'd like to know more about you. Yeah. I'd like to know more about you, too. So it goes without saying that I'm hooked on you And by now I'm out of my mind With this self-abuse I guess I should have looked out For myself I guess that I could have found Someone else But I never met anyone Whose loving made me so damn crazy 